this is a chapter third body system in this chapter we learn about digestive system excretory system and healthy eating habits for digestion and excretion the students we learn this chapter in two parts in first part we are discussing about the digestive system and the second part we are discussing about the excretory system so let's start what is the digestive system a digestive system the food we eat cannot be digested by our body directly it need to broken down into simpler substances that can be easily absorbed by our body the process of breaking down the food into simpler form is called digestion just like when we are cooking the food in our kitchen the chopping the vegetables in a smaller piece because we want to make a good food because our food is cooking well so we are cutting the food in a smaller piece we can see this picture this is the part of digestive system the first part of our digestive system is mouth second food pipe stomach liver pancreas small intestine large intestine rectum and anus the whole system are involved in the digestion system the first mouth mouth is the beginning part of digestion of our digestive system our body The process of digestion begins in the mouth. Our teeth chew and break the food into smaller pieces. These smaller pieces get mixed with a liquid called saliva. Present in our mouth while chewing, the tongue helps the food to mix with the saliva. Saliva makes the food soft and wet so that it is easy to swallow you can see this picture after eating the food through the mouth the food are coming to the food pipe what is the food pipe the soft chew food is passed down to the stomach through the food pipe this is also called oesophagus the food is coming through the food pipe in stomach and now what is the stomach the stomach has some digestive juice called gastric juice present in it this help in digesting the food while stomach muscles churn it well the broken down food is then passed to a small intestine that means the food is coming in mouth and the next part of the food pipe and he is enter in the stomach and stomach have to mix some gastric juices in the food and the food is go through in small intestine liver and pancreas liver and pancreas play an important role in process of digestion liver is the largest liver gland in our body and pancreas is also secrete some enzyme which help the digestion of sugar and liver to secrete a bile acid which is a help to digestion of fat in our body then the food is coming in small intestine after coming in small intestine the small intestine is a long wide tube like structure the food passed from stomach is digested here that means the digestion process is occur 
in the small intestine. After the digestion, the digested food is here is in the liquid form. Its nutrients are absorbed into the blood. That means the food which is digested in the small intestine and it is converted into liquid form, the our intestine have absorbed easily and then pass out this absorbed food in blood and form the wall of thin organ. The blood carries these nutrients to various parts of the body. After the absorption the food in the blood, the blood vessels carry the nutrients from our body's part. The next is larger intestine. A roughage cannot be absorbed by the food. It shouldn't you can come back to the first chapter in which we learn to for vegetables we are no understand what is the roughage. Roughage is not digested by body but is a very important foods in our body. The undigested food passed from the small intestine into the large intestine. Its blood vessels absorb excess water and store it for future use by body. That means the digestion process not occur in large intestine. It then throw out the undigested semi-solid waste to the rectum. After the undigested food come to the rectum. What is the rectum? The undigested semi-solid waste is stored in the rectum temporarily before being thrown out the body. That means rectum has storage and digested food for more times. And the next part is NS. NS is the opening form where semi-solid waste go out of the body. That means which food is not digested in our body, this is throughout the body in the in the way of anus. Need for achieving food. It is a very important to achieve the food properly. It is suggested that every bite of food must be achieved 32 times. That means when we eating, the food is properly achieved by himself and the bite is must be 32 times when we shave the food is broken down into smaller pieces the shaving release a lot of saliva from the shaving release a lot of saliva from the mouth which get mixed with smaller pieces of food and make it soft the process of digestion of starch start within mouth by the action of saliva on it. That means when we shave the food, our mouth release some saliva and this saliva, saliva is important for our food and it is an important role play in the digestion of starch. Thus, the food gets soft and partially digested because of shaving. It reduces the burden on our stomach. Need for regular bowel movement. Bowel movement. We must also pay attention to our regular bowel movement. We should develop a habit of visiting the toilet in morning every day. Even if there is no if there is no urge, this habit helps in making the bowel movement regular. The undigested waste of food, this is called stool, contains a lot of powerful material which must be excreted out of the body regularly. 
otherwise it make a result many other diseases some of the disease caused due to irregular bowel movements are and constipation movement are constipation skin disease it is and even cancer need for water water is the most abundant substance in our body about 70% of one body is made up of water water helps in digestion and removal of wastes from the body it also helps in transporting nutrient in our body water regulate the body temperature it is found in the most of the foods every day our body loses some amount of water in the form of urine bowel and sweat to replenish this we must drink about 8 to 10 glasses of water daily excretory system a lot of waste material is produced in our body the process by which waste materials get removed from our body is called excretion that means after the digestion our body produce a lot of amount of waste material so this is important to remove our body and some part of our body is involved to removing of this waste material removing of waste material is called excretion and the some organ is involved in the excretion is called organs of excretory system the excretory system organs is kidneys ureters urinary bladder and urethra first kidneys we have a pair of kidneys in our body they help to clean the blood and produce urine you can see this is the bean shaped shape like kidney two kidney is situated in our body one is in left side and another is in right side this is called kidney their shape is like a bean and the next is ureters urine is carry to the urinary bladder through ureters and this is called ureters which is connected between urinary bladder to kidney and next is urinary bladder after the excretion the kidney the product is coming in urinary bladder through the ureter and urethra urine is release out of our body through urethra this part is called urethra this is the opening part of urinary bladder and our urine is throw out for this reason so other ways of excretion when we breathe out the lungs help to remove carbon dioxide from our body the skin has a large number of fine pores on it when we experience heat walk fast run dance or do some other physical activity the skin gives out the sweat through these pores sweat contains harmful waste material dissolve in water this is how skin help in excretion that means our body also release waste material through some organs like lungs skin healthy eating habits for digestion and excretion digestion and excretion are very important process for our body in order to make 
the digestive and excretory system work smoothly we must do the following first we should eat a balanced diet with lot of roughs we should drink 8 to 10 glasses of water every day we should avoid eating too much a fatty and fried foods we should include cod in our diet we should avoid drinking too much of tea coffee and aerated drinks we should include pulses and cereals in our diet we should do regular physical exercise we should wash our hand properly before and after eating food thank you for watching this video